There are five cold water fish hatcheries in the state of Minnesota. We travel to the one in Lanesboro in southeast Minnesota, where fishery specialist Troy Lejeune gave us a tour of the impressive facility that raises rainbows and brown trout with spring-fed waters. So this is kind of the, the heart and soul of the hatchery right here, isn't it? Yes, this is our main spring, spring one. We also have another spring that comes off the back of the hillside. But this one facilitates most of our, our hatchery right here. So all the water that gets used here comes out of the side of this hill right here. Yep. <laughs> it's, we get up to about, about 5,000 gallons a minute. Wow. And majority of it comes from this one. It's always 48 degrees because it's spring fed. And uh, it, it helps out because it's got a lot of dissolved oxygen in it. So this water then runs through a system of pipes that goes everywhere around here and it's, it all flows downhill. It's all gravity flow. They, uh, they built up the spring so it's up high enough that it can travel without pumps to get to our raceways and our ponds. Saves you a little bit of money. It saves us a ton of money. Spring waters sustain all aspects of the Lanesboro Trout Facility, which starts with good brooding stock raised in large ponds. They're pretty good size. Yeah. They're probably between, uh, I'd say, six and eight pounds. Uh, broodstock is actually the parents. They'll be the, the males and the females that we spawn, where we take the milt or sperm from the males and fertilize the female eggs to create more for our production. And you keep all of those together, the males and the females together? We keep males and females together a lot of times, but when we spawn them, we take a younger male, uh, like a three-year-old male with a four-year-old female, and this is because when you got all, all threes and all fours together, if you spawn them together, there's a chance of incest. So this is why we want to keep our genetics as wide and diverse as possible. In here we have our egg incubation room. Um, this is a, a heat stack. What we do is we have the eggs in it, the water comes in through the back, comes underneath, goes through a screen, upwells through so they get their oxygen, comes out the front, circulates in the back, and then drops down to the next tray. In these, these stacks we have eight trays, and so we can use four gallons a minute of water to facilitate uh, hundreds of thousands of eggs. How long do you keep eggs in here? Eggs will be in here for, for 30, usually about 30 to 36 days. Um, and that, at that time, they'll be hatching. We'll bring them into our nursery and let them hatch in there. So after the eggs hatch, this is where the fish go? Yeah, we bring them into our nursery here, and we, we actually have smaller tanks that set up on the top so that it's easier for us to, to handle. But once they grow up into the to fingerlings like we have right here, we drop them down into our, our bigger tanks, what we call super troughs, and uh, we grow them up in here until they're not able to, to be in here anymore because of density reasons, and then we take them out into our raceways or our ponds. We have the red lighting mainly for our brown trout because they're very wild and skittish, so when it's kind of dim in here, we can still see and we can work with them, but it doesn't bother them as much. So what we have in here right now are our rainbow fingerlings. These are fish that were in our nursery, but they got too big to facilitate in those tanks, so we have to bring them out to a bigger tank or raceway. So we bring them out here to grow them up a little bit larger before they then end up into the pond. So the water coming out of these pipes is coming from that waterfall, that spring that we saw. And there's no pumps here. This is literally just gravity and the force of that water making it shoot out of there? Yep. It's the head pressure from that spring being so high, it forces the water down through the pipes to then come up this high and then feeds these raceways right here that we have some rainbow yearlings in that we're going to stock tomorrow, actually. So these fish, after they leave here, get stocked. So realistically, these are the fish that are going to Camden. Yes. Yep. We took one of these raceways that had brown broodstock and we hauled them in our transport and hauled them over to Wyndham and Candom State Park and Ortonville. 
Well, this is this is pretty cool with all the the ponds and I mean you got the fish and you got geese. You got the the bluffs up there. This is a really neat area, right? It's here. it's beautiful down here, you know, from buildings to other buildings to the, the Root River, bike trails. It's very scenic. I can think of worse places to live. Yeah, I like work. it here. <laughs>